So, oh, you should see, you should see a panel up there. And then, so it's a single 260 watt panel coming down here, which goes over there and then down here under the table, back up to this which is the charge controller, showing that it's fully charged. Um, panel voltage, the uh, amps going into the battery, battery charge, battery voltage, amount of power going to this little light output here, which is nothing, amp hours. So that charges, the battery here goes down there comes into here so this is how I'm doing these things now um, so here we've got uh, this is too wide so you've got you have a single battery here and then you have one underneath it um, and then you have battery on top this one uh, the one for here underneath and then that so it's like one two one two one two one two and then one two one two one two one two so here this is eight cells long by two in parallel so this is eight series two parallel and um these are the 30 amp hour cells positive there negative there and then it goes to this inverter this is a, a 2500 watt pure sine wave and uh, goes to the breaker panel and then out to the whole trailer. These are um, little uh, voltage controllers. So once the cells get above 3.5, it applies a little bit of a scrub voltage to it. So a little bit of a load. So these are fine for uh, really s very small packs like this. But for the other pack that I have, you need something much beefier, which is that other stuff that I have. Um, and I'll send you the link so you should be able to see that. Um, or if you look in the description on this, I probably will have the link for it. And uh, those work really well for large packs. I have a five, 400 amp hour pack uh, at 24 volts on the other RV that it works great on. And I imagine it can support a lot more than that. They say they can support up to like a thousand amp hours, which I believe them. So. Yeah, that's that. And to give you a demonstration of how this works power-wise, let's plug this in. Uh, this has been fairly flawless. All right, and so I'll show you the voltage as I start it up. Yeah, this sounds at the wrong angle right now, but yeah. So, so far I've been doing some projects. So I've got Cory and countertop I've been building. And with what we've got going on here, I haven't, the lowest I've seen the batteries go is like 26.3 volts. And that's after sanding, grinding, buffing, cutting. So it's working pretty well. Yeah.